Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, and welcome to another haul. I am going to be starting off with just this teeny tiny order from Once More With Love, because obviously it is an order chock full of character stickers, and I like to use these right away. So I'm just going to quickly go over this, and when more stuff comes in, I will be filling out the rest of the haul with that. I don't even know what I'm expecting right now. It's not that much, but... Oh yeah, I just did place my huge bi-monthly order from SPC, so that will be on its way too and that will be a big chunky haul. So I know my invoice is in here somewhere so I'm going to take that out off screen and here we are. So this was a kind of flash sale order, not really a flash sale, it was um, Marg's daughter Charlotte's first birthday sale and of course it was Alice in Wonderland, one being a pun on how it was her first birthday and obviously Alice in Wonderland is my favorite thing in the whole world. So. It's a sale, it's Alice in Wonderland, I had to get it. Um, so here's the freebie for that. Yep, in Wonderland, super cute. So she already had Alice in Wonderland stickers that I feel like she came out with fairly recently, the whole sheet of them. So obviously I already have that. Um, but she created like one or two other like deco sheets um, for like Alice in Wonderland. Um, so I picked that up and then a lot of the other new releases were like fire, so I had to get those too. Um, Otherwise, I would not have purchased if the other new releases weren't, like, great because, um, I didn't really have anything else that I needed immediately. I'm pretty caught up on, like, the things that I'm going to use in the near future. Um, but I really did want a few of these, so, hence the order. Um, but this is the freebie, so we have Alice here with a little birthday cake, which is super cute. I like how that's, like, it's for Charlotte's birthday, the birthday cake, but also it's, like, literally part of the story Alice in Wonderland um the first book I think at the mad tea party they like sing the whole unbirthday song and everything so I mean I could use it for any any Alice occasion but it would be super cute for birthday and then there's the queen of hearts with I think that's a little cupcake so <laughs> that is more birthday specific I think um Otherwise, I think her holding some tarts would be more appropriate. Anyways, yeah, here we definitely have the um, the white rabbit and his pocket watch with a little birthday party banner. And then we have another happy birthday banner right there with the playing cards. And then the Once More Thought little logo there. So that is the freebie for the sale. Then we have the October freebie as well. Um... So we have this little cute one that says, have a nice day. I feel like I should use it on some happy mail, honestly. Inktober, which a lot of the illustrators are participating in. Um, and then this one says, press pause. Good little reminder. This one is tough cookie. And then this one is just a little star. So that's cute. And then if you ordered, I think, 10 bucks or more, you could use the either eat me or drink me coupon code to get the eat me or drink me freebie so i chose drink me because i figured i would use these particular stickers a little bit more um and i guess this might be like some kind of coupon code or something obviously i'm not going to scratch it off on the screen but yes we have stay curious with mushrooms we have a little pocket watch um only a dream which i actually didn't want like a whole sheet of those um to mark like dreams that i have because i've been having some really like dreams that feel like they mean something lately and then of course a little cup of tea which 
definitely very useful. I need to, I keep telling myself, I need to drink more tea. I was going to make tea last night, but my roommates were like hosting people downstairs and I did not want to go downstairs and have to do introductions. I just wasn't feeling well and I wanted some tea, but I wasn't about to walk into that. So I had to forego it, but I need to make it one of these nights. All right. So it actually feels like kind of a chunk now that I look at it. Um, Ooh, lots of nice little oopses there. It's been a while since I've gotten oops, I feel like. I put it in every um, notes section, but I think it's only like based on supply, so I don't often get them. So here's the journaling card, this little bulletin board, and then here's the thank you note on the back. I'll let you pause and read that if you would like. Uh, let's go over the oopses first. So this is fun. This looks like these sheets may have just been cut in that cut in half by accident by the um, the cutting machines. I know because m mine has done this several times. I know exactly what kind of moods these silhouettes get in when they decide to start cutting things in half. So it doesn't surprise me that she has a lot of these. I really like that I get this sheet um, because like both of these stickers I feel like I use a lot. So that's nice, and these stickers are totally fine. It's just that the sheets were cut in half, so perfectly usable. Ten stickers on there. I'm loving that, especially because um, these you don't have to use. You don't have to write anything. You don't have to use a script necessarily. I like layering these over washi. Oh yes, this one I actually really needed too. Um, not so much the planning time, but I do use these two stickers to mark organizing stickers, and I love having smaller stickers to mark that. Um, because I count these as like little sticker, like reusable sticker books. I pretend they are even though I don't really use that method or the like um, album method or whatever. I like to pretend that that's what's going on here. Um, and same here where she's like holding the little sticker sheets. I just for some reason those stickers look to me like organizing stickers. So I like to use that for that. So I'm really glad that so far these are like very useful stickers for me. Oh, this light bulb one is also um, pretty useful I feel like. Um, I actually could have used this in my recent spread, which is annoying. Um, I had a, I had a sticker that I was able to use instead, but, um, like for power outages, I feel like this would be really cool, especially for like longer power outages where like they last overnight or they last days or something, which thankfully that's only happened I think like once or twice here in California, but, um, where I live anyway. But yeah, and I do have power outage stickers from Mark already, but I was trying to mark in my last plan with me when the power was fixed or when it was back on. Um, and so I wanted like a light bulb sticker, but I didn't have one, so now I have the light bulb stickers. So that's what I would use that for. This is the Generally Unwell sheet. Oh, it's a shame. Like I almost had two useful rows, but the silhouette decided nope. Actually, I might still use these anyway, because like oftentimes I trim stickers to make them fit, so like that's a decent trim right there like you still get most of the sticker on there so I feel like I would still use that but yeah this could be used for like being bummed out or depressed or anxious or something so there's that this is funny so this one is like I've done nothing at all today this would be another like decent trim but this sentiment literally does not ever apply to me because I am productive AF. I cannot do nothing at any point ever unless I'm taking a nap. But even then, napping is recharging, so I don't have lazy days. That's why I don't buy lazy day stickers either. So this one is like online classes, I feel like. Um, I am done with school, hopefully forever. Um, I, did, I did my time, but there are some online trainings and learnings and stuff that I still sometimes get interested in. So I do have some like online learning sheets already. So I'll just add these to that collection. And then this one is just like work at a laptop. So that's very versatile all the time. So very good oops haul. Thank you, Marg. That's wonderful. Okay. Now for the actual order. Got some mini sheets. So she released her little weather collection. And instead of getting just a mixed weather sheet, I have I have already like so many mixed weather sheets. I was just like, no, these are good enough stickers that I know I'm going to use because they're tiny. So I'm just going to get all like the ones that I use regularly. So we have, um, we have rainy day, which doesn't happen enough here. It happened a lot the first year and then after that, not so much, but it did rain, I think one day last week. And that was very exciting for me. It drizzled. <laughs> um, we have windy, 
which is actually also not that common anymore, but I think around this time of year it starts getting windier. It was really windy like two days ago, so there's an occasion to mark that. Then we have um, like a sunny day with clouds. This is my definition of like perfect weather, so every time I mark perfect weather I usually use some variation of this type of sticker. So there's that, and then cloudy. I use these types of stickers to mark when it's a chilly day, not necessarily cold, but just like chilly. I feel like um, the Bay Area in California has more days that are just chilly rather than cold, so I use that a lot. And then we have hot, of course. That sun looks like it is coming after him with a vengeance. That is an angry sun. <laughs> and yeah, there are plenty of hot days during the Bay Area summer. All right. So for the bigger sheets, we have, oh, by the way, there's a lot more than just this. These are just the ones that apply to the Bay Area. So I did pick up the leg cramp stickers. Um, I don't think my legs get cramped that much anymore. Um, but there were several times where they were definitely aching and stuff. So these are definitely going to come in handy. I have like a foot cramp that happens more often but like, you're not gonna find foot cramp stickers anywhere. So I feel like this might be good enough. Like maybe I could use that one for my foot cramp stickers, but oh my goodness, my, my foot, just like the muscles just like twist up sometimes and then I can't step on it for like 10 minutes. And if I try, if it feel, if like, I can feel the muscles untwist themselves and then if I try to step on it right after that, it will immediately just cramp up again and I will be out for the count for 10 minutes, completely unable to move. Um, like could take a step anywhere if I'm not hopping and it's just immensely painful um so I do have to usually just stand perfectly still and wait for several minutes so that is my cramping issue but I have I have stomach cramp uh, stickers too although that's more like stomach ache for me but um it'll be good to just expand my cramp sticker collection just because you never know and of course I got the asthma inhaler because this is probably my biggest um biggest health issue that I have to deal with on a daily basis and it is uh, like stress induced asthma. I think sometimes it's exercise induced but I don't really exercise that much so it's more stress induced and it has been bad lately and um, so yeah this is definitely going to be useful to add in my collection. I do have quite a few inhaler stickers already because everybody's like coming out with them which I'm totally here for. I'm here for that variety. So very excited to add this as well, especially because again, mark stickers are really tiny and they're great for little things. So we have this cute little fall drink sticker. I did pick up some fall stickers. Fall drinks run. So there's like me and a friend or me and my boyfriend. And then on a rainy, windy day getting drinks. So that's super cute. Love that. We have been getting the fall drinks lately. Um, and then we have pumpkin. These are super cute. These could be used for like pumpkin patch, pumpkin carving, pumpkin food, pumpkin drinks. I'm not really all about the pumpkins or the pumpkin drinks necessarily, but I am about going like full tilt into whatever season it is and whatever holiday it is. Thankfully, my boyfriend loves Halloween, so... And I love fall, so combined, we do try to do like pretty much every stereotypical activity. Last year we did, this year we're doing even more. Got a haunted house coming up that I haven't been to before. Um, and we're actually dressing up for Halloween this year. He tried to do last year, costume didn't fit, so he didn't and I just didn't because I, I don't typically. But this year um, we picked one out for him and then I was like, no, I'll just wear a dress or something. But then I actually found one that I think I might wear. So yeah, we're, we are getting into the spirit. Speaking of which, here is our scary movies sheet. I love this because I just love scary movies anytime and so does he. So we'll watch these any time of year, but we are especially trying to watch all the classics now in October. So we're watching the Halloween movies because I think the new one's coming out and we have a few on our list to watch as well. But yeah, I could just use these any time of year. I love this little ghost here. The ghost is like giving the little munchkin a hug. That is so cute. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's supposed to be a hug, but that's what I like to think it is. And then we have spooky computer. I just thought this was cute. I, I never use like laptop girls. Well, I do use them more often now because I mark things like answering comments on my videos and um, like unemployment stuff because um, I'm still planning for a year ago. So that's the kind of stuff I was marking a year ago. 
that I would use these types of stickers for, but other than that, I don't really use laptop stickers that much at all. Um, cause like, you know, I don't work on my laptop. I wish someday soon, I hope to be able to work on my, well, my desktop all day, but, um, yeah, no, I work at a store, so I don't use these that often, but I did want to just have the variety. So these have little fall icons. So we have a bat, a pumpkin, a little witch's hat, and then a leaf and candy corn. So there's some fall, some Halloween mixed in there. So very cute to have that variety. Here we have um, Halloween movies. Uh, I need to like be better about Halloween movies this year because like I'm watching scary movies, but I'm like kind of neglecting all of my classic Halloween movies. Nightmare Before Christmas, Monster House. Um, I did watch a lot of the um, more like children's theme movies last year. I feel like I watched Beetlejuice last year. I think I watched Twitches last year. Um, so I need to, I, I don't know, I need to watch the classics this year and then try some new ones that I haven't seen. I did watch The Craft finally. That was kind of fun. Um, I... I would say I don't think I'll talk about it until I do the plan with me for that week, but since that's not going to be for like a year from now, um, I am just going to say that it was a good movie. It seemed like it was going to be kind of tame, but then they like really went for it. I think it came out in 1996, which was my birth year, and it like felt like a 90s movie, but also one of those 90 movies that like unexpectedly goes really dark and stuff, and it was like teenagers trying to kill each other, and and then be like glib about it afterwards. I don't know, I just thought that was so funny. Um, not funny funny, but like interesting. Like, mm, okay, that's that's cool that you did that, that you really pulled out all the stops for that one and you know, decided to go to really go for it. So respect for that. So I actually liked it. I didn't love it. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. And I do have that kit for it from Key Town that I got ages ago, hoping that I would like the movie enough to use it. And so I will be happy to use that. So I need to get more into the like more fun kind of Halloween movies. Um, so we have some Halloween movie marquees as well. I never remember to like pull these out because I keep my normal movie marquees in a different section. And then like I have a few sets of Halloween movie marquees that I keep um, in the Halloween section. So I never remember these, but I need to. Um, so yeah, these could be used for just fall. Um, this one could be used for any time. Although there is little candies there. But I feel like candy is just an anytime watching a movie kind of theme. But then we have ghosts and bats here, so that's Halloween for sure. And then we have Dusk on Fire. I am probably just going to add this to my like technology problems section, which yes, I do have a section just for tech problems, because you all know if you use laptops, printers, desktops, silhouettes, minks, um, you know, you name it, there's going to be an issue with it, so... I've had to mark that a lot lately, so here's just an alternate way to mark when I feel like setting my computer on fire anyways. Um, so here we have pool. I'm really glad to have this because I don't think I had any pool stickers, but I did play pool with my dad over our uh, vacation in Lake Tahoe, and I don't think I would have been able to mark it before, but now I can definitely mark it, and you know, whenever we have the occasion to play pool again, because I actually enjoy it. I'm not great, but I enjoy it. Panic attack. Um, this sticker sheet I actually bought, um, not that I have these that often, but I kind of have been marking them lately in my planner for last year, um, because they were more frequent last year, and my last plan with me, I, like, had to leave a space blank because I didn't have the sheet yet, but here it is, so I'm just gonna add that, and you'll probably already have seen that in the final photos for that plan with me, but... Yeah, I just wanted to wait until I had these because I didn't have any panic attack specific stickers before, I don't think, so cannot wait to add those in. Then we have bowling. I do have a few bowling stickers, and I don't have any recent bowling experience, but I want to because it's fun. So these are more in anticipation of being able to use those. I thought this was fun, this dual monitors, um, only because I don't, you know, I haven't seen any other dual monitor stickers, and I do have dual monitors. I've had them for a very long time. Um, before I moved out here actually, so that's at least four or five years now. Even when I used my laptop, I had a second monitor and now I have a desktop with two monitors. Um, but yeah, so this is my setup on a marking. I don't even know why this would be necessarily um, relevant to mark because I have mostly just laptop stickers and that's what I would use. But I don't know, I just thought it would be really fun to throw these into the mix. Cause it's like, this is just me, you know, working at my computer, just doing anything, but 
it will be fun to throw in the whole dual monitors thing. Then we have a high tea sticker set. I love high tea. I've been, I think, twice in my life, and those have been the best experiences ever. So I really want to do more high tea, which is super fancy, and there's not that many occasions to do it, but I need to make those occasions happen because I am a high tea person at heart. Like, that is me as a person, is somebody who loves and enjoys, like, the properness of a high tea. And I just know that if I have to drag my boyfriend to one of these, oh man, he's not going to have fun. He's, he's not the type to enjoy that as much as me, but I'm sure he would. Just just because I want to, so that'll be fun. And in turn, he can drag me to like a football game or something. So we have more fall computers, but this is like just a laptop instead of the little munchkin at the laptop, so that's very cute. Love these colors going on here. And then lastly, we have the Wonderland Doodles. And this was the additional, like, Also Wonderland sheet that she had thrown in. Um, so before she had the munchkins of the characters, like this, but she had some more. And now this sheet is just the doodles. So we have our playing cards scattered throughout. We have a teacup, teapot down here, some mushrooms, flowers, um, a little mirror looking glass, rather, just like the sequel. Uh, let's take the looking glass. We have a book, a crown, pocket watch, a key, the butterfly on it, a little eat me cookie, drink me potion, tree with the white roses painted red, or I guess that's like a, a rose bush, the Mad Hatter's hat, the door at the beginning with the talking doorknob in the movie, Cheshire Cat, there's his little grinning face, see there's the doorknob from the movie. And I think that is a pump. Mm, why did I say pumpkin? I meant cupcake. I think. But, um, yeah, just some fun doodles for Alice in Wonderland. So that is it. That is my bigger than expected order from Once More Love. Cannot wait to start using these stickers right away. She's always coming up with new stuff because I feel like she has so much now that she's done pretty much all the basic stuff. So now she gets to, like, start being really creative and doing the stuff that nobody else has. So super excited to see what she comes out with next so that is it for this section and i'm not sure what you'll be seeing next but let's get into it okay so let's go ahead and continue this haul now that i have a million things that have come in so we've got quite a lot of kits characters and a little bit of washi so we're going to start with that and we're probably not going to be able to finish all of this out in this particular haul so I will save the rest for the next one as per usual, but we're going to start off with this teeny tiny order from Simply Gilded. I just had to pick up a few sheets. I think there was, not a few sheets, I'm used to saying that, a few rolls. And I think there was like some kind of sale going on. Oh, it was, um, it was like a Mystery Monday, like, restock of some of the Passport collection, and I've like... I realized that I've been kind of missing out on those from the beginning, so I decided to pick up whatever was there that I wanted, and I remembered it a little bit too late, so I only got two actual passports. I really wanted the haunted house ones, but those were like immediately sold out, um, even in the restock, so I'm hoping she'll do some kind of variation on those at some point, if not a full restock, because um, I really want those, but I managed to get those two, and then we have... Well, I'll go over those in detail in a second, but let's go over the flat stuff first. So we have our Bow Seal Freebie. Always love those. Here we have a sampler freebie, which I don't think anybody really uses. I mean, I'm sure there's people who do, but I hear more people say that they don't have use for these. But I like how the color scheme and foil matches this journaling card here, which is the gold pumpkin on the black and white plaid. And then, um, as part of the Passport collection, I did get the Sedona um, postcard, which is very pretty. It's rose gold foiled. Love the color scheme. Definitely want to keep that because I love Sedona. Actually, looking at this, only this that's like the only Passport that I actually got is the Sedona one. Interesting. All right. But this one is the October 2.0 Gem of the Month Pink Tourmaline, or however you say that. 
So this is very similar to one that I already have, which I think might have been last year's October gem of the month. Um, I think she's just like doing variations of the same color or the same gem, um, like year by year. So I think she did post like a comparison of this one to the last one. I didn't pull out my previous one because I can just describe it. It's it's very similar to this, but it's more muted, like more pastel, if you will. This is like a very bright, more vibrant version. And the gemstone pattern is clearer here, whereas it's a little bit harder to tell in the older one. So that's why I felt okay getting the newer one, because they are both very different. And again, that one would be better used for pastel spreads, and this one could be used for brighter spreads. And these do look really good when they're pulled into spreads, these uh, gemstone ones, but it's kind of harder to find uses for those, so I'm going to try to use these on Happy Mail more because they look so pretty. So I will be getting rid of the 10mm as usual, I'll see who wants it out of my friends, um, but I always keep the 15 and the 5mm. I also got this set of 5mm, this is the Sweet Fall Bow. Um, so we have two with the light gold foil. I don't know what these colors are named, and I never bothered to look them up beforehand, but this is like a kind of sage green, like my best friend sage. I think that's like what sage green is, I don't know. I didn't look that up either, but if I had to guess, it would be something more like this. Um, this is kind of a, like a tan color, or like maybe a shade of orange. Well, actually orange and tan are technically shades and tints of the same color. Um, and then this one is kind of a dusty rose with um, rose pink foil. It's kind of a tone on tone situation there. Very pretty. I just love this color scheme here. It's like, it reminds me of like soft fabrics or cozy sweaters, cottage core, that kind of cozy vibes. I just love that color scheme. And I didn't have any like this in my extensive 5mm collection, so I just had to pick it up. So that makes these four as new additions. And I have so many that I just don't even use. So I need to focus on using those more too. But, um, so I have the Sedona Passport here with the Desert Scene. I would unroll it, but I... It gets annoying to store them that way when they're slightly unrolled because then that unrolled bit will like come off and stick to everything but you can kind of see the scene here I love the colors if you go to Sedona definitely everything has these bright vibrant colors in the in the rock formations and everything it's very beautiful I really want to go back there looks like we have some gold foiling throughout and of course the golden sun so I had to get that one, and then I also picked up the Sydney Australia one, because I just didn't have it, and I liked it. Even though I've never been to Sydney, I have no real particular desire to go to Sydney or anywhere in Australia, really. Emma from Fonts and Cactus um, just posted an Instagram story today about a spider that she killed in her house that was freaking enormous and terrifying. And I love spiders, but that spider, if I found it in my house, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I love spiders, but I don't know if I would have a backbone to take care of that um, properly. Like, I would, you know, I don't kill things. I would want to trap it and put it outside. But it was, like, a big boy. Like, if that thing made any sunny, not sunny, sudden movements at me, I would jump out of my skin, even though I like spiders. So, you know, no, no particular desire to hurry over to Australia one of these days. <laughs> but yeah, I just got the Sydney tape in the meantime. I like collecting these little landscapes. Um, Especially now that I have a washi stand for them. But of course now I have way more tapes than I than can fit on that stand. So I'll probably just switch them out every now and then. I think she's like... The washi stand I have is from some little things. I think she's coming out with like a Harry Potter one. And I'm like, oh, I need that. But I don't have that much Harry Potter washi, so I don't know. I mean, I have an Animal Crossing one. But like, I don't have very much Animal Crossing washi either, so... I don't know... Maybe that means I just have to find more from somebody. Anyways, so that was it from Simply Gilded. Very small order, but I couldn't pass up on those restocks because I knew they would quickly go out of stock. So, put that off to the side. 
and I'm going to do some more characters. Let's have this be like a more character heavy haul. We'll have time for some kits because I only have two character orders. So this one is from Sweet Ava's Paper. I recently placed a really big order. So this is kind of small, just mostly her new releases. Um, and because it was a $2 Tuesday and all the snowball sheets were $2. Actually, no. Everything in the shop was $2. So, of course, I had to take advantage of that and just place a teeny tiny order. Because $2 is a magnificent price for an entire sticker sheet. Alrighty. So, as usual, we have our backing card. She does her packaging, like, really really well. And then we have this journaling card, which is a fun texture, which says you are llama amazing. It's so funny. So that's Snowball riding a llama. And then there's some social media info on there. And then our freebie is, I think this is the same one I've gotten in like the last few orders, I believe, but I can always use these. So we have Monty the Bat making lemonade. We have, I think, Coco, the dog, doing laundry, Snowball the cat in a litter box, and then Snowball and Chip drinking beer. Alrighty, so, just a few sheets to go over. We have the two bunny characters, which do not have nearly enough representation in the shop. I think she's working on drawing more. But, um, we have Stormy and Cloudy, which are their names. Um, playing board games, and I, I literally don't think I even checked to see if I had this sheet. I don't think I do, though. I don't think so. But yeah, I just, I'm always looking for more board game stickers. Now, especially now that I have board games, like, in my actual possession. So, I just thought that would be perfect. And I really like them when they're, when there's, like, two characters, or, like, two people playing board games. And then, of course, I got the bubble tea. I think... There may have been like another version of boba that I had already picked up. I think. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I've only just started buying boba stickers from like every shop because I've only just started being addicted to it. But I I didn't think I had this one. So of course I had to pick this one up because it has a little cat lid on it and it's so cute. And it comes in like multicolor and then just like a more plain look, which I love. I love that there's an even number of both. And then we have Pumpkin the kitty. I love Pumpkin because her colors are so perfect for fall. She's a little fall calico kitty, so this is her all bundled up, but I'm going to use this for like chilly days or cold cold days, so that'll be perfect. Um, and then we have Snowball, who is doing some magical planning. So like on a week you go to Disney or something, if you do some planning, this would be for that. Super cute. I have like probably more Disney Parks kits than I will ever go on Disney trips in my entire life, so I might have to get creative with that, so I might have more uses for that than just the example I provided. Um, so we have more of Pumpkin the Kitty doing some winter planning, so if you want to bring her into the winter season as well as fall, then here you go. I just love how she has so many variations of like planning stickers, like, um, like for every season she does like four or five of her characters and they all look different and so I need to start using these to mark filming plan with me some more because I usually just use filming stick uh yeah filming stickers instead of like planning stickers but I need to really get on that because I have so many so here's winter planning she has her little um snowman pencil topper and then um, a little warm drink there hot drink and then we have Snowball doing the winter planning as well, and again, looks different. So Pumpkin is like the more pastel, like Christmas winter spreads, and then Snowball is like all ready for Christmas, which is me all of November and December. Like if I had this outfit to wear while I was planning, I totally would. <laughs> like literally, I need to like, I need to get Christmas sweaters, because I don't know why, I've never owned them. I need to. But yeah, this is a vibe, so. And she has her little hot cocoa, too. So there's that. And then lastly, I got the cactus ones. I know it says suck it, and it's supposed to be, like, you know, sassy and everything. But I just needed the cactus because I needed to mark visits to Texas, which is really funny to me because the where I used to live in Texas does not have cacti. It's like Houston is not really a, a cactus 
prone area. I mean, West Texas, sure, but not East Texas. Um, whereas where I live in California, I see cacti like every day, even in NorCal, even in the Bay Area, like that's everywhere. So it's funny, cacti, I see more in California than Texas, but it's more of a stereotypical Texas thing. So I need to get more of those type of stickers to mark trips to Texas. So I'm probably just going to cut off the second part. Or I might leave it on, given my feelings about Texas, but <laughs> that's kind of my intention with that. So that is my teeny tiny order from Sweet Eva's Paper. She just also, I would, you can tell I was on Instagram today, but she showed that she had like a whole like bin full of um, sticker sheets that she has yet to release um, that are like in a smaller size that would be like perfect for little things and quarter boxes. I mean, so was this. Like that's a good size. I think they were like about that size or smaller. Um, but like I'm just I'm hyped for those new stickers like I want them I want them in the smaller size and I want the new design so that will probably facilitate another order soon but yeah that's it for now she's clearly like one of my favorite character sticker shops if you can't tell all right next we have wonton and million this is my pre-sale order from ages ago when she did her like harry potter collection pre-sale um, which is why it took so long to come in. I did buy some non-presale stuff in here, but as usual, it ships like with the presale. So I had to wait for those. So I'm actually really excited to see what's in there because I feel like it's stuff that I could use probably now in my spreads. Um, so just glancing at my invoice real quick. Alrighty, so we have a lot going on here. So I think she just re-released everything in her Harry Potter collection. Or sorry, Hagal Potter collection. But I already had a lot of it from the beginning that I already that I wanted. Um, so I really only bought the stuff was like book six and beyond because that stuff was new, um, and there wasn't much. So here we have our journaling card, which is the periodic table of dim sum, which is so funny. Oh my god! So I've never seen this one. I haven't received this in an order yet, and literally like she drew so many new like wonton dim sum characters for this periodic table and I love it I want to like take the time and look through all of them and I also want to eat all of them so <laughs> I have been in an eating mood lately but yeah this will be news for me but you can like pause and look at how cute they are they're all adorable you can recognize some members of the steam team like already um there's definitely some new ones and oh gonna make me hungry so I'm gonna put that aside and look at that later but I love that so this one looks like it's a meet the team freebie so I guess she's like probably doing these for each of her like main squad characters so this is soupy um, I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to pronounce that but this is the like soup bun character I think I haven't even eaten like a soup dumpling or whatever oh yeah soup dumpling I haven't eaten one and I want to so bad because it, it combines like two of my favorite things, soup and dumplings. Oh, I say every food is my favorite food, but like, oh, that sounds so good. I've been in a soup mood lately. I need to find some somewhere. I only just recently tried pho for the first time, um, but I need to, I need to really expand my horizons even more. So here we have Soupy. I guess he loves to work out. <laughs> Super fit. Ha ha ha. That's funny. He and my boyfriend have a lot in common with that one. Um, favorite movie is Batman vs. Superbun, which is actually funny because my boyfriend introduced me to that, like, a few months ago as well. <laughs> favorite pastime is listening to podcasts. That is something that I love to do, actually. Me and my friends love to do that, so. Well, there you go. That is super fun. Haha, <laughs> get it? That was such a bad pun. But I will not apologize for that. So what is this? I'm curious about what this is because this is clearly a different texture. It's very flimsy. Is this, like transparent paper it's like wizarding world I don't think I bought this I feel like this is like a freebie so it's just like the wizarding world sheet but like literally what is it okay so no I didn't buy this this is like a freebie so I guess it's just transparent stickers wow that's crazy I don't know why but I like I got the urge to like use this to decorate wrapping paper Cause like, I don't know, I decorate cards with stickers too, but like, I feel like with transparent stickers, I feel like cards is just not, or like paper is not the best 
use for them somehow. I don't know. It feels weird. So I feel like I would want to find something else to do with these, and I feel like wrapping paper would be the thing. Although, who would I even like, give it to? Because like I don't know anybody who's as much of a Potterhead as I am. Like literally, none of my friends. My boyfriend isn't. Oh man, I don't know. I will keep that for a future purpose. Okay. So here we have, as promised, the Harry Potter 6 sheet. And I love how she's like done each sheet for each book with, um, with little scenes from the actual book. So it's super fun. I do love using these to mark when I watch the movies um, specifically. And also because I can just choose whatever colors match the spread that I'm doing. Like I had a pink spread the other day when I was marking Harry Potter 5, and so I used an umbrage from that sheet, and it was great, so. Yep, so now here comes the fun part where I have to try to guess what is going on in each little scene here. Okay, so that's Harry and Snape with the, I don't know what that red light is supposed to be. I wanna say it's the Occlumency lessons, but I don't know what the red is. Um, I'm sure one of y'all will correct me. There's Slughorn, obviously. There's Harry brewing some potions with his secret book. There he is winning the Felix Felicis. I don't... I've literally never bothered to memorize how to say that. But yeah, there he is with the book again. There's Ron with Quidditch. Um, oh yeah, there's Hermione um, sending the birds at Ron. Because obviously this is supposed to go in order, so... Yeah, there's Ron with the love potion. Um, Ron with lavender, and then the birds, and then the Quidditch. Aw, and then there's the death of Aragog. There's the memories and the pensieve. And then, um, who was that? Literally, who was that? Don't remember. Um... Weasley is wizard, wizarding wheezes. There's their uh, last trip for the locket. Well, I guess their first and only trip for the locket, but their last trip hunting horcruxes. And their first trip. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say the word last. Um, And then we have... Oh yeah, Malfoy um, trying to kill Dumbledore and then Invisible Harry. And there he is, the half bow prince himself. Oh, and then Lupin and Tonks. So cute. So there's only one thing I don't recognize on this sheet, and that's going to bug me who that person is and what their importance is. All right, and then we have, finally, Harry Potter's seven. So this is great. This is the seven Potters. <laughs> so there's Harry. There's Fred and George. Um... I don't know who that is, but if I had to guess based on a quote, I'm going to say Mundungus. Don't look at me, I'm idiots. That's Fleur. Um, and who are these? I feel like Ron and Hermione should be in there, right? Probably. That must be them. Anyways. Um, yep, there's Bill and Fleur's wedding. There they are camping out. There they are visiting... Harry's parents' graves. And then we have a Ron with a Deluminator. <laughs> Hermione is Bellatrix. You can clearly tell by her expression that that's Hermione is Bellatrix. They're there on the dragon, escaping Gringotts. Oh yes, and then they'll always quote, not my daughter, you B-word. <laughs> Molly's best moment. And then Neville's best moment right there. Hang on, that... That looks like that, right? That guy looks like that guy. Is it the same person? Why would Neville be on? No, it's a different haircut. I feel like that's supposed to be a girl. Is this supposed to be Cho? No. She has black hair. I don't know. It's clearly not, though, because that's Neville. Alright, um, then there's Harry seeing all of the, I guess, visions or ghosts or whatever of his lost loved ones, and then the final battle. Very exciting. I feel like I just watched both movies just by going through these sheets. I should have said, if you don't care about Harry Potter, skip through the last, like, probably five minutes or however long it took me to do that, but oopsie, a well too late. <laughs> um, Alright, so now we have the non-Harry Potter stuff. 
So I just got the dining out, which I really definitely need, given like how I'm like in my back planning journey, I am getting further into um, like my relationship with my boyfriend and we like gradually started eating out a lot more. So now that I have these, I'm glad I can use a more of a variety of stickers to mark that because we really do love eating out, eating in, we love eating. So yeah, we have like pasta, salads going on there. We have um, dim sum, of course. And then that could be like ramen or pho, but I'm going to say that's ramen because I am a ramen gal. And for some, I like, I make the best ramen, but for some reason I have not made him any ramen yet. So I need to. All right, then we have meal time slash meal prep. I actually don't have any stick stickers like this yet, I don't think. And I have, like, tried to avoid getting it because if I'm marking, like, food, um, I have such a big food sticker collection that I generally have the type of food already in a sticker. But I found lately that there's times when I want to mark a type of food that I just don't have. Um, I think recently it's been, like, apple fritters and apple turnovers and stuff. So I just, I wanted more, you know, generic food stickers for that. I don't have a, lo I don't have a place, like, category for these yet, but I'll have to make one. Um, I could just do miscellaneous food, I guess. I might have to. And we have picnics. Oh, I love getting more picnic stickers because we are also a big fan of picnics. Um, so yeah, we have little singular stickers and then we have the, like, couple stickers here. Those would be, like, with your girlfriend. Um, but this is more like a date. But still, super cute. <laughs> and then this is, like, Mario Kart dim sum cart. So we have Toad, Luigi, Mario, Toadette, and then Mario in a cart. This is so fun. I, I like Mario Kart. I'm not great at it, but I like it. Actually, I'm glad that I got these because I don't think I had any Mario Kart stickers, and I did play it at the arcade once or twice um, that I haven't marked yet. So then we have hiking. I also needed more hiking stickers for sure. They're a good size, too. And then washing dishes. I like the variety of the characters because the same team right now is pretty big. So we get five characters doing the hiking, but then we get six characters doing the um, doing the dishes. I don't know why I love marking doing the dishes and using dishes stickers. It's like one of my favorite things for whatever reason. I'm trying to. Cause like, what is the addition of this character? What is that character that we now get to see? Dawn Tot. So she gets to be featured on a sheet because we can fit six. So that's fun. Same with this sheet. Wonton, Steamy, Dawn. Is that? Oh, I think that's Layla. Layla Bow. And then Suey. And then Soupy. Okay. So yeah, those are, I guess, the main six. I think we had, like, Ricky Eggroll, but he never gets featured on sheets. So sad. Yeah, like, Ricky Eggroll is also a member of the Steam team now. And Bolo Bob, too, I think. Most of these don't have their own sheets, though. Um, and then I did get some, like, princess stickers. I don't think I've gotten all of them. I have a few already. I just haven't taken the punch to buy all of them at once for whatever reason. Um... But yeah, so this one is just, I mean, clearly it's kind of a Wreck-It Ralph inspired sheet, Wreck-It Ralph 2, when all the princesses were all together, because we have Vanellope in with all of the other classic Disney princesses. I just thought it would be fun to have a mixed sheet of them all, and Vanellope too. I really love Wreck-It Ralph. I think a lot of us do. It's kind of an underrated movie in, like, you know, pop culture in general. Oh, then we have The Lion, the Witch, and the Steamer. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which is another thing that I really love. It's another fictional world that I am a little bit obsessed with. I've read the books, I think at least twice, and I love the movies. And for me, it's like right up there with Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. But I need to give it more attention. So I'm really glad that there is a sticker sheet for that. And then this is the Mulan sheet. I just think I didn't have a lot of Mulan stickers, and that's why I picked this one up. But yeah, we have both versions of Mulan, and then the prince, what is his name? I do not know. 
I've seen both Milan movies, so you'd think I would know, but I... It's like... It's a Chang or something? It's like right at the tip of my tongue. Anyways, we have Mushu. We have the little Cricket. What is that Cricket's name? Because I know it's not Jiminy Cricket. There can't... There's, there's only one Cricket, and it's Jiminy. <laughs> I don't know. Is it Cricky or something dumb like that? I think it is. Um... And then we have Mulan's dog, whose name I don't know either, and who probably appears in the movie for about two seconds. <laughs> um, and then we have the three friends right there. The three hilarious guys. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, brings back good memories of Mulan, because I love that film as well. Alright, so that is everything from Monster and a Million. I still haven't placed my base order, which is going to be pretty fat when I do. She doesn't release new sticker sheets that often. She does, like, big collections with, like, mostly stuff that I don't need, so. Um, I don't anticipate ordering too often, but I still have to do at least my base order. Alright, so we have a little bit of time, so I think we can get through at least one kit order. Because I have an enormous one from Scorpions Co., which is my, like, bi-monthly order. And then I have a smaller one from... Um, fantasy design store. So I think I'm gonna go over this one because it's smaller. And this is my first order from the shop. I'm just gonna get that very loud seller out of the way. I don't know if there's anything like an invoice in here, so let me just quickly take this off screen and check. No, I don't think so. Nope. So yeah, my first order, so we're gonna see how this goes. And the reason I placed the order was because there's like two or three shops that I've seen that do um, the like Harry Potter themed art from formerly known as I think Westwood Wizardry. She, she, I think she had to change like her whole shop. I have a feeling she got like spooked by copyright or something to do with that because now she's just like a generic wizard themed shop so she's not doing stuff themed specifically on Harry Potter anymore just like magical stuff like right now she's doing like a magical Christmas set which still looks like super cool and I want it but I'm kind of sad that, like there's not going to be any more like um Harry Potter kits like themed on specific shops and like Diagon Alley and stuff so that's what a lot of this is um so yeah she just had like the best versions of that art so I had to pick it up. Um, I think the new Instagram name for the artist is Digiberry Designs, I think. I'll try to uh, remember to write it down below. But yeah, she she got rid of all of her um, old posts and everything, so you can't see the art there. But if you like what you see here, um, check out the shop because there's more. I just had already gotten some of it. So here we have our journaling card, which is Planner Land. It's kind of fun. And then we have the thank you card info on the back. And then we have some fall freebies it looks like. So this was from the UPS sale that I placed the order. So we have some UPS freebies right here. We have our fall vibes um, die cuts. We have two sizes of UPS freebie. So we have this like fall Disney deco. And then we have washi strips. So those are fun. I don't really use those though, outside of kits. So these look like some freebies from other shops for the sale. So that's super fun. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I love this kitty. I want this kitty. So I haven't heard of this shop and it has a kitty character. So I might just have to check it out. This plant stuff is really cute, although I'm not a plant person, but I am a cat person. So I want to check out that shop. Um, here we have Strawberry Lime Designs, which I've definitely heard of, but I don't think I ever needed anything from her shop. But I think she has a pretty good shop, so I might just have a look and see if there's anything new that I want. So Planner Monkey Co. I've also looked at. Is she on my list of shops to check out? Maybe. Maybe. Monkey's pretty cute. Um, and then we have one little sunshine shop. I like this paper. This is like really nice matte paper. There's some cute little doodly designs there. 
This is the Ginger Cat Co., which is definitely on my list. I'm pretty sure she has cat characters too, and why none of them are on this freebie is a mystery and a disappointment, but she is on my list. Um, <laughs> I like these sassier ones over here. So we've got some foil in here. We've got Harriet Wright Designs, which is a very well-known shop. I like these flood elements. I will add those to my collection for sure. And we have blush bow papery, which I've definitely heard of. I think I've gotten like this freebie before, but like in a different color scheme fairly recently because I did like take off the um, date covers to use those. And this bunny is cute, but she like freaks me out just a little bit because she seems almost too anthropomorphic. It's just weird. Like the ears that look like hair and like the eyelashes, I don't know. It weirds me out ever so slightly. So I, I don't think I could use her, but she's she's still cute. So there's that, and those are the freebies. Let's get into the actual kits. So she's one of those shops that cuts down on the cello, so these don't come in their individual cellos, which is fine with me, because I have a ton of leftover cellos from other kits that I've already used. So I will just transfer these to them. This is very nice paper. I think it is premium matte. I don't think you got a choice when um, choosing the kits. I am a glossy girl, but I also like using premium matte if it's a good premium matte, and this looks like it's a good premium matte. So that's A-OK -okay with me. So this is the Dark Arts. I think these are all, yeah, these are all um, from the same artist. So this is like the Borgen and Burks um, collection, and I remember like seeing like each of these individual elements as she like posted them as like sneak peeks. So it's really cool to see them come together in a kit. So we have some like items that are for sale at Borgen and Burks. I forget what that is, but it looks like a Death Eater mask. Um, we have the Hangman's Rope, we have the Hand of Glory, Essence of Insanity, and then the Draft of Living Death, spelled the American way. We have the Vanishing Cabinet. I always have to say it like Arthur Weasley. Um, with the apple in it, we have like a very cool, looks like almost like a crystal skull. And then some plants on a cage, I suppose. We have some planner elements, so fun. We've got some planner reception or kits, kitception in there. I don't know what this is, but it looks almost like a record player kind of with the bat on it, so that's cool. And then some really pretty beetles. I love beetles, and these beetles look super cool. So I love this. And then we have some quarter boxes as well, tucked into the bottom. So on this page, this kit, this kit format is all very new to me, so let's kind of see what we got. We have, oh, I really love this like pattern background. That is so cool. So we, that's for the date covers. I like those. We have our weekend banner um, habit trackers. We have some three, you know, they're usually three heart checklists, but those are not hearts, they're squares. So three square checklists. And then we have a whole bunch of icons over here. Actually, these look familiar. These look kind of like the paper candy art ones. So I guess they are like able to be purchased from a third party shop somewhere. But yeah, I do typically like to use these when they're like colored to match the kits. So that's quite a lot of icons to choose from. Then we have some boxes over here. We have a lot of half boxes. I like how each page is able. I think you can get them all a cart. Um, so we have half and quarter boxes, and then some more checklists, but without the check. So those could just be used for lists, which I actually like, because sometimes I put my Happy Meal on the sidebar, and then I like to just list them out. So here we have some bigger half boxes. I knew these half boxes looked smaller. I knew these weren't full size. These aren't third boxes, but they're smaller half boxes. So here we get some big boy full or half boxes on here, some alternative labels and boxes, and then a whole bunch of squares, which is really fun. And then we have our headers, and we do get a meals header, that's like the only one I use, other than a happy meal, which is not on here, but that's okay, because I almost never use that one anyway. And then our last page is glitter headers and washi which is what it says. So our washi is already like split, but it's part of the design. So it's the same flowers as over here. And then we have the 
like book text for the top part. So that's fine, I will probably keep that as is, no cutting necessary. And yeah, so I, I'm not seeing little things in here that may have been on another page that was like, that I could have got a la carte, but I just chose not to, possibly. Um, because I have like a really big little thing collection already, that's, that's my guess. But knowing how quickly I'm going through that leftover stack of little things, I should have bought them. <laughs> that is okay, I can always go back later if I need to. So next, we have the, oh dear, I just realized I never bothered to figure out how to say this guy's name, Flor, I'm guessing it's Florian. So we have Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor here, the kit is just called Florian's Ice Cream, and I just love the color scheme of this kit, it's so pretty, I want to eat those, those look like crepes, I want to eat those so bad, I want to eat everything on here, I am, I'm an eater, I love to eat. So we have some close-ups of some gorgeous and delicious looking ice creams. Oh, there's so many. We have the menu. Toffee apple milkshake. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want all of this. Mm, so many sweets and syrups and things. And then we have the... I think that's the toppings right there. Oh my goodness, this is so tempting. I want to go get ice cream right now. But I just love the bright colors for this. Or it's not really bright. It's like bright but muted. I just, I love the way she draws. I love her art style. So then we have the date covers and icons over here. We have our half and quarter boxes, squares, headers, other labels. Uh, yes, our toppings are the bottom washi as well. Along with a like candy stripe pattern and then our glitter headers. And then we got our Jelly bean washi strips. Super duper fun. And then next we have Joke Shop. So this is obviously Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. Again, I love the color scheme for this one as well. So we have Fred and George Weasley right there. That's funny, they don't look like twins in that drawing because they have different like hairstyles so interesting but I guess they no they they pretty much always wore the same hairstyle I think in the movies so yeah we have the little umbrage right there with the cauldrons it's from the movie um anti-gravity hats that's fun it's like a little fez um creepy crawlies that must be candy nose biting teacups yeah I like how it has teeth on the top rim oh you can get a snowstorm too Super useful. We have our little kit section right there. Lucky dip. I wonder what that is. I mean, I'm assuming it makes you lucky. We have a trick wand, of course. Some kind of candy. Oh yeah, this. I wish this had been like zoomed out a little bit so you could see like more of the box. But they have their whole setup with the puking pastels, nosebleed nougat. I think that's fever fudge over there. And then I don't. I can't quite get, make out what that says, I don't remember. Um, I know one of the other things I had was Tun Tung Toffee, but I don't think that's on here. Um, here we have You Know Poo, of course. And then a Dung Bomb, because why not? So there we go. There's that page. I'm just going to stop saying the same words over and over again. That page. And this one. And our bottom washi is just the W's. A lot of those. So that's Joke Shop, and this is again all stuff in Diagon Alley. Well, I guess Morgan and Briggs is in Nocturne Alley, but same sort of idea. And so we have two more. These are all in, these are both in Diagon Alley. So we have the Magical Bookstore. Um, is this Flourish and Plots? Yes, it is. I was going to say that, but I wasn't quite sure until I saw the postcard, but yes. This is Flourish and Plots. Oh, we have a doll box scene in this one. That's fun. Love the scenes being included with the flying books. Got some kitception, some planners and stuff. We have a drink, which should not be allowed in a bookshop. <laughs> Although I like the idea. Got some flying memos over here. A little this book belongs to stamp. Some parchment scrolls. 
Oh, let's see what books we have over here. Voyages of the Vampires, Travels with Trolls, Gadding with Ghouls, and Break with a Banshee. So all of Lockhart's stuff is there, which is so funny. Of all the books she could have chosen to represent, it was the most fake of them all. All right, then we have the icons, boxes, more boxes, and the bottom washi is a close-up of the postcard. I like this little bookshelf pattern for the washi, though. Okay, so then finally, we have a wand shop. So this is Ollivander's, of course. The wand chooses the wizard. And we actually get a fashion girl in this one. I think she did fashion girls for all of her sets. But for whatever reason, um, the shop decided not to use most of them. So it is exciting when we get one. But we have another double box scene of the inside of Ollivander's. Which I'm really glad this is included because I can imagine how much work that took to draw. And we have a girl with her gorgeous ombre hair. Um, this looks like a book of like notes on wand, wand lore. <laughs> Didn't know you had to apply for a wand permit. But I suppose you do. So that's Harry Potter's permit right there. The wand chooses the wizard, smart planners. <laughs> That's clearly somebody trying out their wand and not going very well. And then here we have a stack of wands and potions over here. I love that. Again, a very nice color scheme. So let's just flip through the rest of it real quick. -a -loo. And then we have the wand drawers for the bottom washi. So that's everything that we have. And I don't think she did any after this that I missed out on. I feel like we're missing a Madame Malkins, or however you say that, like the robe shop, I feel like that one might be able to have one, the apothecary, the owl emporium or whatever it was, like there's a lot of shops that could have had a kid that would have been so cool, but oh well, I am still very grateful for what we have. So that is everything from Fantasy Design Store. And I think we're going to go ahead and end this haul right now, and I'll save my enormous Score Prince Co. Um, order for the next haul, because honestly, I don't even have the energy to film anymore right now, anyhow, and I want to be like really hyped for that one, because there's a lot of good stuff in there. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.